Oi gente, então, antes de começar o vídeo, eu queria dar uma prévia para vocês, porque talvez algumas pessoas não entendam o tema. Na rede norte-americana de televisão tem um reality show chamado Keeping Up With The Kardashians, onde a artista principal chama Kim Kardashian, que é uma socialite. Ela não faz nada da vida, ela simplesmente gasta o dinheiro e fica ostentando. Além dela, ela tem mais quatro irmãs, uma chama Chloe, Kendall, Kylie e Courtney. E elas são filhas de Chris Jenner por parte de mãe. E é isso, espero que vocês entendam e aproveite o vídeo. Okay. Have I? What I know about you? Her up by chance? Would you like to see her turn the page? I have not introduced her to anybody. Ask like if she's ready to date and she Ooh, is that you are so in love with their family that you want them to be happy. Yeah. Which for brings sure. ask like if she's ready to date and she's just not thinking about that. I have asked. I've been like, do you want to go on a date? Like what do you want? She's not thinking about that yet. You know, she's so all about her kids. Mm -hmm. So all about, you know, let's get also Scott healthy and in a good spot. I don't think that's even it's so weird to me when moms and like if they like My mom was like this too. Who's gonna want me? Who's gonna? It's like you guys are gorgeous. When, what's what are you guys talking about? So that mentality, I think it takes a minute to get over. Who's gonna want a mom with three kids or whatever? Mm -hmm. Everybody, Courtney would want to bone you. So stop. But I think I think she's taking time for her kids right now. That's not really her focus. Band is a strong, <laughs> more of a mutual understanding. I remember getting a phone call from Kim and she told me she got invited to the Mark show. She's like, I don't think I should go, but what do you think? And I said, I completely agree. She obviously is who she is and it would have almost taken the attention away from me. Who's going to argue with Mark Jacobs when he's putting you in an outfit? You know what I mean? It was an amazing moment. I, I do not regret it. She obviously is standing. I remember getting a phone call from Kim and she told me she got invited to the Mark show. She's like, I don't think I should go, but what do you think? And I said, I completely agree. She obviously is who she is and it would have almost taken the attention away from me. I don't know any different if that makes any sense because I started when I was so young. I was always the one that was really embarrassed to like talk about something or talk about a boy or whatever. And they knew that obviously. So they like just would come to me and they would like kind of tease me for it. And watch you squirm. Yeah, exactly. I would just always be looking at these supermodels who were just like so amazing to me. They were like superheroes. I want to be some little girl's superhero. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi, I'm Kylie Jenner. I love CVS because I get all my lashes from there. First place we've always gone, and so to have our kids launch in the States and to have it be so highly requested here, feels really good. Uh, there's so many different family members that it, I feel like there's so many different, and Scott and all the, and my grandchildren now, and just a whole bunch of things going on. And what happens is the audience and the fans have watched us evolve and grow up. They've watched Kendall and Kylie who were, you know, very young when we started. And this is the two minute makeover with Grazia. All my beauty products, I usually shop at, I love CVS because I get all my lashes from there. And then I get my best beauty tips from Chloe. Um, 
She always tells me um, growing up to put sunscreen on my hands and face and always wash my face before I go to sleep. Think contouring and lip liner definitely changed. I actually never bought any beauty products myself. I stole everything from my mom. Um, I remember I used her foundation one time for the first time and she so wasn't my skin color. She was like 10 shades darker. And I saw my sister Chloe after. Can you come back? The strangest thing I've ever read about myself online was that I was just obsessed with like killing like raccoons. And this person gave like a fake police report, this whole story about how I took my high heels and would just like stomp on them. It was the weirdest story I've ever read. The biggest misconception about me is just the question when people say, what do you do? You know, like as if I don't work, as if I don't have two books and one on the way and a TV show that we film and seven fragrances and a makeup line and a hairline, you know, clothing. It just, it, you know, I think that that gets, you know, a little bit frustrated. I've been known to Google myself on occasion. I, I don't have Google alerts anymore on myself. I did, but I, I haven't in a couple of years. I do look on tumblers though. I love tumblers and fashion tumblers and there's like this fan tumbler that I love. It's called Kiss.